59 lyric piece. If you take a look at pages 58 and 59, you'll see that there's the same piece, this lyric piece. The music isn't the same, but it's the same title. It's the same composer. The idea is this is called a duet. A duet is when two instruments or two people are playing or singing at the same time. That doesn't mean any time you have two people playing at the same time it's a duet. That that's no a, but a duet means two people at the same time. It's a little weird. Have a glass of wine and think about it. It makes sense eventually. It's, 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 it's like you know, a, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not necessarily a square type thing. You can go one way, but not the other. I can have a, a singer or a violin player or some instrument playing, and they're accompanied by a piano or some other instrument. That's two people playing. That's not a duet. That's a solo, where you have a solo and an accompaniment at the same time. It's not a duet. A duet is when you have two people playing at the same time and both parts are equally important. It would be like a violin sonata or a cello sonata. A sonata is written as a duet. That's where the piano part is just as important as the other part and they're playing together. The part on page 58 is called the secundo part. That's the bottom part. In a duet, they're labeled. Bottom part is the secundo part. And the top part on page 59 is the primo part. The words are up at the top. This, it doesn't mean primary. It just means it's the top part of, the, of a duet. Because some people, piano players, are more comfortable playing one or the other. Mainly because a lot of times in the secundo part, Everything's in the bass clef, and if they're more comfortable reading bass clef, they like the secundo part. Whereas the duet, the primo part, a lot of times both hands are written in treble clef. If this isn't, one's in treble and one's in bass, and that's fine, but they could have been both in treble clef. And if, if you're more comfortable playing in treble clef, then you'd prefer the primo part. I like playing duets, they're a lot of fun. Now some duets are, you can do it on one keyboard, on one piano, and other duets are written where you got to have two separate keyboards to do it because the hands get in the way of each other. Hmm. Well with this one, it looks like the hands might be in the way, except there's a note at the top telling the primo part, the top part, to play two octaves higher. And that way the hands are, get out of the way. Because the secondo part needs these notes here quite a bit. So we can't have the primo part playing in here, this area, because the secondo part is here. So if the primo part simply goes two octaves up, and you just pretend middle C went up the piano two octaves. So instead of here, that's one, two octaves. You up here, and you go up here and play. And you play it all up here. You're pretending you're playing it here. But by playing it up here, you're out of the way so that the secundo part can have these notes. So let's talk about this piece a little bit. Common time is 4-4 four, four time, same difference. You're up here, I'm going to go ahead and pretend I'm up here. Now a lot of times it, when you do these duets, you'll actually sit up there toward the piano and the other person will sit down here toward the piano in front of their part. But I'm going to sit in the middle and reach up here because I'm too lazy to move. So you're starting out fine. You're actually playing the same notes, it looks like, just an octave apart. That's kind of nice. It looks like this whole thing you're playing octaves. Makes it a little easier, doesn't it? Huh. So, let's talk dynamics then, so since the notes aren't going to be a problem. You're starting out soft. And here, you, since both hands are playing the same thing, you can play them the same. It's all, all melody. It's the secundo part has to adjust to stay softer than what you're playing. So the secundo part has to play very soft. So you can play this soft. You'll have to decide what soft is. And then in the second line, you have that crescendo up to the first note in the third measure. You're going to get a little louder to that note. So here, louder. That's the note you're after. 
So you build up to that note and then you come back down. So that second line is here. And then the third line, you're medium loud or moderately loud. So and then the last two measures, you're going to crescendo up to loud. Here, here, there. And you're going to stay here. And the third line, or fourth line, third measure, I don't know, too many numbers. You're, you'll go back down to soft. Actually, I suggest you go down to about medium soft. You don't have to go all the way down to soft. Just each one is a little softer. And that's the way that works. Now, in the second line, they have that RIT. Retardando in the third measure. And it says last time. Retardando is a big fancy Italian word. It means just start gradually slowing down. It's like a train coming to a stop, except you don't come to a stop. You just slow down. So you're counting, however fast you're counting, that third, is it the second line, to start with the second measure, you hear one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, done. You just slow down the count, and that's what that means. And it says the last time only, which means the last time we play it is when you'll slow down. And I say the last time because you're actually going to play the thing three times. And you say, how can you play it three times? Well, it's easy. You just keep playing it. Now, if you look at the end of the second line, there's a repeat sign. That means we're going to go back to the beginning and play those two lines again. So we're playing it twice right there. Then after that, we go down and play the third line and the last line. And at the end of the last line, underneath the staff, you see a DC Alfini. This is very common. And they explain what it is there in a little box. It's Italian again. Abbreviations. DC simply means go back to the beginning. It's like a repeat sign, except it has other purposes. So you, you go back to the beginning. Alfine means go to fine. Well, if you look at the end of the second line underneath the staff, it has the word fine. It's not fine, it's Italian. It's fine. It means end, finish, complete, kaput, done, over, whatever. And we go to there. So when you get down to the bottom, you simply go back to the beginning and play the first two lines again. Third time. That's the third time you're playing. And that's the, when you slow down. And that's how it works. It's really neat. They save a lot of printing and space and the music and so forth by doing all these repeats and the DC Alfine thingies and so forth. Let's try this out very slowly together just to make sure we have the notes and the rhythms. And if you're in a class and doing this, it's kind of neat because if you have people in the class who can play the secondo part, because the secondo part's really meant for a teacher. You got some notes in there. You don't know if you know them or not. They're getting pretty interesting. And some other things, some legato versus staccato and all this stuff going on. But if there are people who can play it, then they can play that part and then the, whoever else can play the top part or whatever. It's, it's kind of fun. I'm going to give us four counts. Let's do this very slowly together. Now when we play together on the play with me, I'm playing with a metronome. I generally don't do the dynamics, I just do the notes. You can do the dynamics on your own. And when there's any kind of a retardando or any kind of a change in the tempo like that, I don't do that either because the metronome won't change. So I have to keep the same tempo going. So I ignore the retardandos. You can do those on your own also. So go ahead and put your hands way up here. And here we go. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, one, two. One, two, four, one, two, three. One, two, four, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Repeat two four two three two four two one two four 
two, two, four, one, two, three. Go on. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, go up to the top. Two, 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 three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, off. Over on page 58 there is a duet part for this. I'd like to do that to give you a chance to do what you just did, but I'm going to speed this up. Now this says it's adagio. Adagio is slow. And that's probably about the fast, the speed we're going now. So I, we may keep it the same speed. So go ahead and put your hands up here where they were. I'll give us four counts. We'll just play this together. One, two, ready, go.